Hello everyone, now I will show you an anti-aging rejuvenating massage on the neck area. It will reduce transverse wrinkles on the neck, the so-called the rings of Venus. It also helps tighten loose skin and make skin thicker. You can do it every other day, use some cream or oil. Apply oil in the direction of the outflow of lymphatic fluid. Step 1. First, we stretch the platysma, which is the largest muscle in our neck. Feel how the entire surface of the neck is stretched. For better effect, you can push the lower jaw forward. This particular exercise can be done every day and any time. This is a very effective and important technique. You should feel how your platysma is stretching. Step 2. Now we are going to do separation of fibrous muscle tissue in order to get rid of adhesions and fibrosis. The neckline is a continuation of our neck because the neck muscle is woven into the muscles of the neckline. Step 3. Now massage the sternocleidomastoid muscle. If it spasms and shrinks, then our neck shortens and loose and flabby skin is formed. Excess skin is formed as a result of the shortening of the neck. We need to relax this muscle to make it soft. You can do it anytime. And even you can do it sitting in front of the TV. It's a very easy and effective massage. Step 4. With the knuckles we move from the collarbone to the jawline. If the skin turns red, it's very good. In this way we stimulate blood circulation and get rid of congestion. Step 5. We form a fold and move along the entire surface of the neck. In this way our skin gets thicker and tightened and also stimulate blood circulation and boost collagen production. Please don't be hurry and take your time. 
make this massage no less than one two minutes. Other side do in the same way. Step 6. Now we form a horizontal fold. Make this massage no less than 1-2 minutes. Please take your time and don't be in a hurry. Don't worry, the skin will not stretch. And finally, we get rid of excess fluid, edema and toxins. And slightly push supraclavicular and subclavian lymph nodes.